This is the era of great maritime explorations. The European kings, under the guidance of the Pope, sent mighty ships to faraway lands in search of riches. Vasco da Gama, a Portuguese explorer, sailed around the Cape of Good Hope to discover India. Thousands of miles away, in the Spanish countryside, lies the castle of Javier. Move out of the way, boy! Don Juan and Donna Marie are awaiting the arrival of a new baby. Never felt better, my lord. He's an angel. Yes, isn't he? The child is named Francisco de Jasu de Javier. In the future course of his life, the child will be addressed as Francisco Javier. Javier, the name of the castle where he was born, means new house. King Ferdinand of Aragon has very big ambitions. He intends to conquer the whole of Spain. He attacks the outpost at Pamplona and invades Navarre. Pockets, but that will not count. My allegiance 
It's only to you, Your Majesty. As always. Little Francis, I missed you so much. King Ferdinand tries everything possible to get Don Juan on his side, but fails. In frustration, he orders all of Don Juan's estates to be sold as forfeit. Three months later, he annexes Navarre into Aragon. This disaster, coupled with the loss. Of all his wealth, took its toll on Don Juan. <coughs> we have lost everything. Please don't talk. You must conserve your strength. Everything will work out just fine. They have taken away everything. My country, my land. What will I leave for the boys? What will happen of you, Marie? Francis, come here. My son. You are my light, my hope. You will make me proud, Francis. Will you not? I love you, Father. Well, I've been thinking a lot lately. Francisco has grown into a fine young man. He has to secure his place in society. He's a strong young man. He should be trained to be a fighter, like his ancestors. Brother, I'm not a soldier at heart. You are too young to know what you want. You have to honor the family traditions. Well. We can't make him do anything against his will. He has a gift for letters. He should study. Mother, I want to go to Paris to study. Paris? The University of Paris is renowned all over Europe. I feel it will be the best place for Francis to study. Mother, he will be thoroughly spoiled if he goes to that university. I've heard a lot of what goes on there. Besides, I don't think Paris is safe for him right now. Wow, well, I know a lot of people in Paris. I don't think there should be any problem. Fine, mother. If that's what you wish. Greetings, friend. I'm Francisco Javier. Welcome to the university. 
Greetings to you too, Senor Francisco. I beautiful your new roommate. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Francisco. Are you coming to class? You go on, Favre. I'll come later. What's wrong with this separate boy? He's okay. He's just a little quiet, that's all. I have to go now. Peter, wait! Francisco, do you have to spend time with them? They do not know right from wrong. They chose the path of sin. You will land in serious trouble, my friend. Beware. Must you always lecture me? Yes. That's because you are my best friend. I'll be meeting after class. Why? You see. Bravo, bravo, my friend. You are very good at this game, aren't you? Come on, come on, Peter. Oh, no, my friend. I stay away from unnecessary risks. You remember last week, don't you? What about last week? Antonio, the new boy, he accidentally broke his leg. He went to the surgeon, who also happens to be my barber. Peter! Anyway, if you had to see how he put his leg together again, you would take better care of your limbs. That's a lame excuse. Now jump! Alright, I'll try. Well, I don't think I can do it. I'll try. Vida, <laughs> stop kidding and jump that pole. Okay, I'll try. Yeah! Not bad. Not bad. For a beginner, that is. <laughs> from death and took again with him his body with bones flesh and all things appertaining to the perfection of man's nature wherefore he ascended into heaven and there sit it until he come back that was senior he's a very honest man day. he has given up his family castle his wealth and all his privileges Spent many years now in total poverty and penance, like the Lord Jesus Christ. Why is he here? To study, of course. Uh, isn't he too old for that? Francisco, how can anyone be too old for learning? Besides, he is a spiritual teacher. His life is filled with penance and suffering. Peter, my friend, you've been taken in. Really? This Senor Inigo, you think he's a prophet? He's nothing but a nuisance. He corrupts the minds of young people. Antonio told me about him. Antonio? Antonio is a no good troublemaker. The truth is, many students from this college were so taken up by his talk, they gave away all their positions and books to the poor. They, they started begging on the streets of Paris. They abandoned the college and went to live in the hospital of St. James. He inspires people. He inspires people to do what? What can a poor man do? What power does a man have when he has to beg for food from others? I'm a Christian and committed too. But after completing my studies in Paris, I'm going to go back to my homeland. And as a scholar priest of noble blood, 
I'm going to use my influential connections to find myself a well-paying position. God has a plan for each one of us. It is good to hear that you know for sure what yours is. Favre, Francis and Ignatius shared the same room. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Teach us, good Lord, to serve thee as thou deservest. Teach us, good Lord, to serve thee as thou deservest. To give, and not to count the cost. To give, and not to count the cost. To fight, and not to heed the wounds. To fight, and not to heed the wounds. To toil, and not to seek for rest. To toil, and not to seek for rest. To labor, and not to ask for any reward. To labor, and not to ask for any reward. Save that of knowing that we do thy will. Thy father, do right. You to Francisco, and you can. Oh, stop worrying about me, and have a nice trip. Keep in your prayers, Master Inigo, and watch over Francisco. Father, my friend, you are a good man. May the Lord's grace be with you. So long, my friends. So long, Father. What does it profit a man if he gains the whole world and suffers the loss of his own soul? What does it profit a man if he gains the whole world and suffers the loss of his own soul? What does it profit a man if he gains the whole world and suffers the loss of his own soul? What does it profit a man suffers the loss of his own soul? If he gains the whole world and suffers the loss of his own soul. Senior Master Francis, I would like to join your class. I've heard so much about you from Senior Master Inigo. My name is Jean Pierre. Senor Inigo sent you here? Yes, Master Francis. May I please join your class? Here's the money. Good day, Senor Francisco. How was your day at college? Senor Inigo, you have put me in your debt. I don't know how to thank you enough for sending the young boy to my class. I can certainly use the extra money. No thanks needed, Senor Francisco. I like to see you happy. If you ever need anything, just let me know. My dearest brother, I pray to the Lord that this letter may find you in the best of health. Being away from home and from the family I love so dearly is very hard sometimes. I miss you all. And in order that your majesty may clearly know what a great favor our Lord has conferred upon me 
in having me come to know Senor Master Inigo. I give you my word of honor that I will never be able as long as I live to repay him the great debt of gratitude that I owe him. Many a time he has assisted me in my needs with money and friends and he has also been the cause why I gave up evil companions whom I in my inexperience did not recognize as such. I cannot repay Senor Master Inigo for this fact alone. I therefore entreat your honor to receive him as you would my own self since he has put me so greatly in his debt by his good services. Just outside the gates of Paris, on the slopes of Montmartre, lay a small isolated chapel. Ignatius, Peter Favre, Simon Rodriguez de Azevedo, James Lainez, Alphonsus Samaron, Nicholas Bobdilla, and Francisco Javier have one thing in common, the desire to go to Jerusalem and spend their lives in the service of the unfortunate souls, like their King Jesus Christ. I'm a bit nervous about this. Why are you nervous, Simon? Senior Master, I'm worried. I may not live up to expectations of what a soldier of Christ must be. A good soldier of Christ must have deep love for his brethren. No matter how sick, how poor, how desperate they may be, he must be willing to sacrifice his life and give himself up fully for the mission of Christ our King. I want to join this mission to serve Christ the King. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to His Supper. I, Francisco Javier, make my profession in the sight of the Virgin Mother, the whole heavenly court and all those here present and I promise to Almighty God and to you Reverend Father perpetual poverty, chastity, obedience Francisco, it's time. After all the waiting, we are finally going to Jerusalem. Letter from whom? Uh, yes. Well? Well? What does it say, Francisco? It says that we elected Canon of Pamplona Cathedral. Mr. Fab, is it true? Mr. Francisco is giving up his position as Canon of Pamplona Cathedral? It is true, Simon. Haven't you considered taking up the position, Mr. Francisco? I have given my heart and my soul for the service of Christ. I seek souls for the kingdom of God, Simon. There is no time for anything else. The group of nine set off on a journey on foot in the midst of winter. For seven weeks, they trekked through rain and snow.
Ignatius receives a request from the Pope for six of his priests to be sent to the Portuguese colonies in the East. Father Ignatius! Ah, Ambassador, please, sit. Ambassador, Bobadilla is sick. How sick is he? Too sick to travel, I'm afraid. You may have to live for India with Rodriguez alone. Father, His Royal Highness, the King of Portugal, is genuinely concerned about his subjects. He requested that six priests be sent to the apostolic missions in the East. You said you could spare only two priests. I have conveyed the message to His Highness. How can I go back on my word now? Let's wait a few weeks and watch. A few weeks, Father? I am scheduled to leave on the 15th. I cannot delay my trip now. What about your secretary? Who? Francisco? Yes. Father Francisco could go with us. Well. I will have to ask him. I am sure he will agree. I have to be on my way now. Lots to do. Francisco, you know that by order of His Holiness, two of us have to go to India. And that we chose Bobadilla as one of the two. He cannot go now owing to his illness. Nor can the ambassador wait until he recovers. It looks like you may have to replace him now. Suits me fine. Here I am. Send me where you will. All right then. Let the Lord's will be done. You leave tomorrow. Good luck, Francisco. Thank you. I will miss working with you. I will not be around in the society of Jesus' form. I'll write a few letters to make sure there's no problem due to my absence. When elections for Superior are held, my vote will be for you. Francisco, not much is known of the place you are about to go to. But one thing is for certain. Your mission is extremely dangerous. I will cancel it if you do not wish to go. Father, I only need your blessings to make this mission a success. This is the opportunity that I have always waited for. Son, Set the world on fire. Francisco! It's been a long time. Yes, Francisco. Where is he? Who? Peter, where is he? I want to surprise him. Peter's not here. He left for Brescia just a few hours ago. Oh. I'm sorry, Francisco. He didn't know you were coming. I'm leaving for India. I just wanted to say goodbye. Well, so long, my friend. I'll pray that we'll meet again soon. I'll write from India. Tell Fab I said goodbye. I will, my friend. Four months have passed since we reached Goa here in India, a completely Christian city that is something to behold. I am the Lord your God. You shall not, you shall not have strange gods before me. I am the Lord your God. You shall not, you shall not have 
have strange gods before me You shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain You shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain Remember that you keep holy, holy the Sabbath day Remember that you keep holy, holy the Sabbath day Honor your father and your mother Honor your father and your mother You shall not kill You shall not kill You shall not kill You shall not kill You shall not commit adultery You shall not commit adultery You shall not steal, you shall not steal, you shall not steal, you shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. You shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. You shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. You shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife. You shall not covet your neighbor's goods. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife. You shall not covet your neighbor's goods. Francisco, indeed it is I who is indebted to you. By the way, how has your stay in Goa been so far? I assume it has been very fruitful. Oh, the children are very enthusiastic. They are like sponges waiting to absorb anything that is taught to them. They in turn instruct their parents. Don Martin. I wish your officers had even a fraction of your kind nature and virtue. They have no respect for anything or anyone. They are not sparing any attempts at gratifying the body. They have sold their souls to Satan. It is these lost souls that I try to reform. I know a place where you can have fresh ground to teach and preach as you will. What do you know about this place we are about to visit? Do you know about the incident, Father? When the Paravas were at war with the Muslims? The war of the year? Father De Borba told me her governor, Dom Mathi Mafozo, went to rescue the Paravas. He's very concerned about these people. <laughs> Thank you. 
हेल मेरी फुल ऑफ ग्रेस द लॉर्ड इज विद दी अरुल निरंद मरिए अरंग निरंद मरिए अरुल निरंद मरिए अरुल निरंद मरिए वाळगे वाळगे कर्तर उमडनी कात्तर उमडनी कर्तर कर्तर उमडनी कर्तर उमडनी अगेन से कर्तर उमडनी कर्तर उमडनी करेक्ट We must reach the village before nightfall. We cannot stop now. Go away! Go away, children! Father is extremely tired. Don't bother him now. Go away! It is getting dark, children. You must go home now. You can come to meet father tomorrow. Come children come I'm going to teach you something new today Pasangada vaanga vaanga ni pakatila vaanga vaanga Father rest a while you have been walking the whole day have some water how can i disappoint my children they are anxious to embrace god
இந்த பையனை காப்பாத்த அந்த சாமியாவால மட்டுமே முடியும் நான் சென்று அவரை அழைத்து வருகிறேன் Lord Jesus if this is your will may this child live There is such great magnitude of those who are being converted to the faith of Christ in this land where I am that it frequently happens that my arms become exhausted from baptizing and I can no longer speak from having recited so often the creed and the commandments in their language there are days when I baptized an entire village After achieving tremendous success in establishing the church along the fishery coast of India, Francisco Javier came back to the College of St. Paul at Goa. But just two months later, at the end of August 1545, he was on his way to Malacca. In Malacca, he spent the nights in a small cell in a local hospital with a stone for a pillow. He went from island to island spreading the faith, preaching, teaching and healing. The seas he ventured on were perilous and the boats were frail.
sir. Father, is something wrong? Oh. Father, look! Over there! Jesus. Father, you lost your crucifix in the storm? Is that why you were sad? Yes. I couldn't bear the thought of losing it. I'm requesting you for the final time. Give us your approval for the Chinese mission. <laughs> Father Francisco, I cannot allow a lower class merchant to represent the King of Portugal. And I will never, as long as I live, allow that Diego to represent the King as ambassador. Such hatred, such malice. I only wish to take the gift of Christ to China. Diego has been appointed ambassador to allow a safe passage into the land. Don't mention his name. And for all that I care, you can all go to hell. Go alvro the Atai the Gama. Son of the great Vasco da Gama. I didn't expect this from you. Brother has been a great friend of mine and has helped me whenever possible. You did not even heed his words. So you are determined to sabotage my mission. I would like to inform you, Don Alvaro, that I have been appointed Papal Nuncio and I have been commanded to spread the word of faith in all regions east of the Cape of Good Hope. And that includes China. That's what I care for your king's instructions! Kind sir, I need to get to the mainland of China. <laughs> Are you serious? Is he mad? My dear man, please go home. The Lord Jesus has sent me here to spread his word in this new land. May God's will prevail. To do the job at the China. I do not know, but I will gladly endure any punishment if it's in the name of God. <laughs> Sir, could you ferry me across to the mainland of China? Ah. I will pay you. I will give you 200 kuzads worth of pepper. Are you one of those holy men? I don't want to put you in trouble, my friend. The only place you'll go in China is a dark, cold dungeon. Strangers are not allowed into China unless they have some specific business. I have a letter from the king. Letter? Good. Show it to me. It has been destroyed. Destroyed? <laughs> All right. I'll sneak you past the bamboo curtain into Canton. But once you're there, you're all on your own. Thank you. Thank you, kind sir. I'll be back to pick you up shortly. I'll wait for you, sir.
Uncle, why don't you take him on board? He's going to freeze out here. Ship is rocking too much. Makes father more sick. Jesus. Jesus, Son of God, have mercy on me. Oh, Virgin Mother of God. Oh, Virgin Mother of God. Remember me. Have mercy on me. Jesus, Son of God. Have mercy on me. Wait, wait, let's pack the coffin with lime, it will help consume the flesh faster in case someone should come in time to come to take the bones to Goa.